but 4G has to come with coverage. And I think coverage is a very significant part of it, and particularly here in the UK. So w within the UK, you know, uh, Vodafone and another operator are r rolling out 4G at a lower spectrum. And why is that important? Because lower spectrum, just like your voice, it travels farther. And we've committed to publicly, or we've committed publicly that we will cover 98% of the UK um, by 2016, including Wales. Um, but I think this is something we jointly have to do together. We do not want the digital have, haves and have nots in this new world, and 4G is critical to economic enablement. So we need to partner with you with things like planning permissions, being able to have taller mass. You know, I know and I've seen out here, it is an absolutely beautiful countryside. But, you know, the fact is, Vodafone's masts in Spain are twice as high as the masts that we have in the UK, which average only 15 meters. And masts matter to coverage. So if we're going to close the rural digital divide in Wales, we need to have better planning permission and be able to put up taller masts. I think that's something that's worth giving people a digital feature for that we can hopefully work on together. Um, keep your hand in the air and tell us your name and your question. And um, here we go, just in front there. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. I'm Bob Greenland, elected councillor on Monmouthshire County Council. And if you Can I, sorry, sorry to interrupt you. What have you done to your arm? Oh, I, I fell downstairs. Okay, thanks. <laughs> uh, just, sorry, just interested. Carry on. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll tell you the injuries if you want a bit more. But Local still. government is very rough and tumble these days, isn't it? <laughs> Not so in Monmouthshire. Um, if you were to play golf at this wonderful golf course, you'd look out over the hills and valleys of Monmouthshire. Fantastic. One of the disadvantages is the mobile coverage we get here in Monmouthshire. Absolutely appalling. Last week, I was refused a smart meter because I cannot get mobile coverage at home. Now, I heard from Kevin uh, that, I think I took it, get it right, that if, in fact, you got planning permission for higher masts, then maybe we could get better coverage in rural areas because mobile coverage in rural areas of Wales and Monmouthshire will be amongst the 2% that don't get it, I would predict. If we were to get planning permission for higher masts in Monmouthshire, would you bring 4G to Monmouthshire? Thank you for your question. I'm just, before you sit down, I want to ask you, uh, will you, will you support building higher masts in Monmouthshire? I'm not on the planning committee, but I will lobby for exactly that thing, yes. Okay, um, thank you very much for your question. Kevin, um, Monmouthshire desperately wants you to build many more high masts. <laughs> so, absolutely. If we can work with the, the Monmouth, Monmouthshire Council and Planning Commission, and if they allow us to put higher masts, they will get preferential treatment. Oh, there we are. <laughs> Um, well, extraordinary. So there's several challenges when we want to bring these next generation mobile networks like 4G out, particularly in suburban and rural areas. So we, we need to put mass and put new kit on the top of our mass so we can broadcast the signal. And historically, the UK has had real challenges with planning permissions. And so, you know, for example, our, our sites in Spain are in general twice the height of mass in the UK. And so for the economics to work, we really need to partner with the planning councils to allow us to gate more sites and allow us to put higher sites up. And it's really through that challenge, solving that challenge, that we can bring 4G to more and more places.